I'm here with Pearl Jr., the one and only. I'm so excited. I feel like a big fan of hers. Well, I actually am a big fan of hers. That even though she's a little taller than me. Well, I have big heels on. <laughs> that doesn't count. Anyways, um, <coughs> most everybody wants to know um, from to the hoax to day one since it started. Why did Michael do a video? Like, why did Michael do well, I think, um, you know, everybody knows that Michael was being a victim of media conspiracy. They railed you up just to bring you down. You know, the rumors of child molestation, how the FBI didn't stop Tom Stetton from um, humiliating him and the media conspiracy to just um, um, tell lies and all destroy him. And then Michael and, and the conspiracy to get him bankrupt so that they'd have to give back the ATV catalog. So there's a lot of stuff with that. Um, Michael Jackson wanted to start new, start fresh, we have a rebirth, and we know that for World Weekly News in 1994, it printed an article saying Michael Jackson plans to fake his death. And then on June 20th, 2009, um, the article was printed again five days before the death announcement, Michael Jackson plans to fake his death. And then on June 25th, the day he faked his death, the article read, Michael Jackson fakes his death. Right. And that's on the cover of the Michael album, too. The World Weekly News is on the cover there. Absolutely. So how do you go about getting clues for yourself or for other things that are happening? Well, there's a big fan community, probably worldwide, about 10,000 Michael Jackson believers. And um, Michael leaves us these clues. We don't make them up. I mean, we didn't make up the fact that there's no name on the grave. We didn't make up the fact that the death documents are in the wrong name. We did not... Um, um, the surveillance camera on June 25th, one was broken at Carrollwood, and the other one the police erased. You know, the Conrad Murray verdict says Conrad Murray was found guilty of the alleged victim, Michael Joseph Jackson, when Michael's name is Michael Joe Jackson, on the alleged date of June 25th, 2009. I mean, how, how do you not know who died and when, when you're giving a verdict of guilty? And no one's ever saw Conrad Murray in jail, and we were hoping that somebody would get some footage of seeing Conrad Murray get released from jail, but no Conrad Murray in jail or in the orange jumpsuit, just none. None, and that kind of surprises me because the mugshot, that was edited. Yes, it that, was. That was photoshopped. And it didn't come out until the verdict. It didn't come uh, out when he was arrested in February um, in Santa Monica. When that, when he took the mugshot, it came out on the verdict day. So why did they wait that long to release it? And plus, you gotta remember, a lot of people think maybe the FBI gave Michael permission to start new, start fresh, because they did him so wrong. They were they investigated Michael for 13, 14 years and never found anything. And uh, they could have stopped Tom Smith, Tom Snet from humiliating Michael in Santa Maria in the 2005 trial, but the FBI did nothing. And then we have Marlon, uh, Michael's brother, the next day after the death announcement, wearing an FBI hat. Right. And then we have him also in the Jackson Family Dynasty reality show wearing an FBI hat. Why? Why? Exactly. That's what I can't figure out either. Because I, I also think that Michael's, it's kind of like a sting on that's going to happen. And um, I think that some of the doctors, some of the high, higher lawyers that he's been involved with that are out to get him and stuff and that they, they want to catch him and right. stuff. And, um, I hope they do catch him, but other than that, what I mean, what about the will can you tell us? Well, the will was signed on um, July 7, 2002, and Michael was in with Al Sharpton mad at Sony at a protest at the Nat National Action Network in New York, but the will says it's signed in Los Angeles, when we know that Michael wasn't in Los Angeles that day. Also, three, two of Michael's three children, their, um, their names are spelled wrong in the will, their names are wrong, and it says Michael Joseph Jackson, and we know Michael's name is Michael Joe Jackson. Right, and we've seen that um, Tito, um, all the brothers of Michael's that are trying to get in on the will and change the will, because they show footage right outside when it was happening, like with um, Paris and with um, everybody, and, and the kids, and so they were all fighting, and I kind of find that to be like um, a publicity stunt. 
Oh, you're talking about that, yeah, um, when Catherine was kidnapped. You know, Peter Pan, PYT, a lot of people think he's Michael Jackson. He told me about Reedy having a house in Arizona. He told me that he had a bad dream about Catherine like four days before it hit the news. And I told him Catherine's fine, so Peter Pan, PYT, could really be Michael Joe Jackson. Right, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of quest questions why, um, why would Michael do that to his kids? Why do you think he would do that to his kids? Well, what I think Michael wouldn't do to his kids is get propofol at night and not have any monitoring device. Absolutely. That's what I think he wouldn't do to his kids, right? Exactly. exactly. So, um, and if and if Michael faked his death, I'm sure the children are very much aware of it. Her Paris has participated in leaving us clues on her Twitter account and all that other stuff too. And then we had the Oz, the great powerful movie where Prince went on um, Entertainment Tonight and he promoted the movie, and in the movie, Oz the Great and Powerful, there's two fake deaths in that movie. So, and then a lot of other Michael symbolisms in that movie. So the children know Blanket, he's just too young, and I don't think he cares too much. But Paris has been a real trooper as far as leaving us death hoax clues and participating. Right, right. Is, I don't know, does Michael, is he trying to get people to figure it out? Oh yeah, he's, he's the he? mastermind. He's the one that leaves all the clues. He's the one that, you know, we're not, I've, we're I've not, always wondered we're not making that. this stuff. So we think Michael is the main mastermind behind this. He's the puppet master. Um, besides being the main puppet master, people are guessing, um, I've, I've seen this all over. Like, where would Michael be at? Is it like in another country? Well, his passport, his passport expired this year on his birthday, so he better bring his butt back before the passport, the passport expires. So I believe he's here. I think he's somewhere on the East Coast. I think that um, um, he's bought a house and he's living in, under disguise and he doesn't leave the house too often. And Michael loved to go outside in disguise, so this yeah. is just an extenuation of some of the things he likes to do. So people were, people were also bringing up some of the fake pictures that were um, uh, um, that they showed in, in the trial before Dr. Murray got arrested. Um, do you think those were fake, fake pictures like uh, for the, um, when he was laying on the bed? The autopsy? Yes. Well, it could be real or fake, but I think it's fake because the legs were too short. And then how is a dead body have the head tilted? You're not supposed to have any muscle whatsoever when you're dead, so the head should have been oh, the, 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 the over the autopsy picture. The hospital the bed, button. the hospital bed was a little tiny. Yeah, so there's a lot of things about that that time. Um, since he since he switches bodies the night of June 24th, leading into June 25th, um, I know that pretty much it was basically his double, his his, his um, twin. Well, Michael doesn't have a twin. I believe that Michael switched it out. I believe he got a dead body like the Chris Angel episode that just aired, where um, you can get a cadaver. You can get a cadaver. I mean, the body's exhibits are full of cadavers, which is a, a traveling exhibit about people's inside bodies without the skin. So you can get them. And Michael had a body's exhibit t-shirt on, too. Um, we have a picture of him with the body's exhibit t-shirts on. So I think he went and got a cadaver, made it have plastic surgery, which no one would know because Michael got plastic surgery before. And um, just basically his height, his weight, and maybe they um, bleached the skin, you know, to make it look like vitiligo. And um, and the people just assumed that that was Michael, but it wasn't. Because how do you go from this is it, and then 12 hours later have the ambulance say you look like a hospice cancer patient after suffering a, a long illness? Absolutely. You just can't be that bad, and makeup can't fix that. Absolutely, I agree. Definitely. Have you seen the um, the funeral? The thing yeah, yet because the yeah. memorial we, we, yeah the memorial we were talking about okay have you have you noticed the jacksons laughing in the background when paris was doing her speech well i do know that paris was acting and no tears came out she mm -hmm. had an earpiece in her ear so um, um it was the sister what was the sister's name there's Reby and Latoya and Jane. Uh, it was uh, I, I don't know who it was but but they were back there talking to one another and they were just smiling away <laughs> But uh, yeah, um, and plus when they uh, when they did Earth Earth song at the awards, 
it seemed like it was the real deal because it seemed like Michael was singing. It's, it's you could tell that it was really Michael singing, right? And stuff. And I know it's something else. Um, oh, um, the funeral, the where um, the well, the memorial. Yeah, will you be there? There was um, there is four things. He usually says four lyrics. I don't have them memorized right mm -hmm. now. And um, there were some lyric changes. Yes, there were some lyric changes. Mm -hmm. So people thought he the was. Pains, throughout my pains, my trials and tribulations, and my pains and sorrows, and his will be pain. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So. I forgot about that one. That one's way back. That's way back there. It's all in my head. I know. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, pretty much people thought that he was behind somewhere around there, too, and stuff. So. Um, what do you th what are your thoughts for um, for the future? What do you think is going to happen next? Well, I don't know. Conrad Murray's out of jail now. Um, the civil case is a verdict. The um, criminal case is a verdict. So um, double jeopardy, and he's Michael skating inside in and out of this flimsy law of disappearing. People can disappear if they want to. There's no law against it. He just can't um, run from his debts. He can't run from the law, and he can't um, he can't file collect, no one can collect death insurance, and none of those things have happened. Um, no insurance has been paid on the death of the biggest pop star in the world, so you know something's fishy there. Right, and obviously, since Marlon Brando <laughs> left him a, um, an island, that's where I think he's at. Well, I think he went there right afterwards, because who was there was the wife of, um, the wife of the estate of the Marlon Brando, Marlon Brando estate, the wife was there at the hospital. UCLA that day. So I think that could have been where he went at first. And just to clarify, Marlon, you can't buy uh, that island. You can lease it. And he leased it for 99 years. And he gave Michael a portion of it to lease for the remainder of it. So he could have very well be there. What it's about Tectora. when they closed the LAX airport that day? LAX We were going over here everything, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> well, the LAX airport, yeah, there was rumor that some flights were canceled and portions of the airport was closed down. But I think Michael probably left way earlier than that, you know? That's a little fishy because I went around the airport and they, it was due to um, storm um, and weather incidences, yeah. but I don't think it was really weather and incidences. One plane just went out. And, it, and there's an unknown destination. I remember you going over that too. Yeah, but that was always crazy to me because I feel like Michael could put on the disguise and if the FBI is involved, they helped him get out of there. And he probably left in the wee hours. I don't know when exactly he left. Or he could have been left at, at UCLA. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. So, okay. When do you think Michael will have a comeback date? I don't know. There will be a comeback? I don't know. I wish. I hope. I, I hope so, too. I hope so, too. But I think we've gathered up enough evidence that Michael did fake his death. Right. You know? And no, um, no, will he come start. back? I don't know. But he always has a plan, and he's having a good time. And, and I just want to say that right now he... He is completely out of debt, and he also um, was just named the um, highest paid celebrity, living or dead, um, and he made $160 million. The next place was Madonna, who earned $40 million less. That's $800,000 a week less than Michael Jackson. Right. Wow. Exactly. So he might be having just too good of a time being gone. So do you, do you, I mean, my, my question is, do you think he'll actually come back? I hope. Do you remember uh, Larry King, Dave Days? I mean, yeah, Dave, Dave Dave. Yeah, I do. And a lot of people believe that that was Michael on Dave Dave, and it, it could be very possible. It does, it kind of does really look like him, and mm -hmm. I've done like voice analysis with the editors, mm -hmm. and you kind of see hear how the Michael, voice. Yeah, you hear how Michael's talking, you hear how Dave is talking, mm -hmm. and obviously I just think it's him. And so, I hope he comes back because it's been like forever since he's been gone. Four years. It's been like what? Five? Four, 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 four. Over four years. <sighs> Thanks, Jay. And um, I had a question. And um, it was, do you think, um, oh, do you think he was disguised? Like, do you think at, at the memorial? Do you think he's? disguise more than ever just seeing what people well, are saying. Well, Marlon, his speech included Michael Love disguises and said, look at the shoes so nobody would be looking for him, you know, looking at the shoes. You, so you, that's very possible. Do you obviously think that he was like when there when Murray got out? Con Conrad Murray? I don't know. No, he was not. Yeah, you, you have to see Soul for Go for Nashes. You have to see him. I'll have to show that to you guys. You have to show him to you, okay? 
Yeah. So um, we're gonna wrap this up and not waste her time. So um, that's our life. Do you think Michael's alive or not? Um, I know he's alive. I yeah. Um, do you want I already knew he was. <laughs> no. No. So uh, subscribe to her. If you mm -hmm. don't know who she is, Pearl Jr. I'm, one of I'm Pearl Jr. and I am a Michael Jacksonologist. One more question. And I'm the author of Suicide and Michael Jackson, Fake His Death to Save His Life, and also producer of the documentary Alive, Is Michael Jackson Really Dead? Both right. available on Amazon. And Netflix, too. Well, they, they had a two-year run on Netflix, so the two years, unfortunately, has passed. I watched it on Netflix. You did? Yes. I, I, I downloaded it and kept on watching clue after clue after clue. That's how I know a lot of stuff. It's through you. And my website is michaeljacksoninsider.com. Okay, thank you, Chris. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thousands believe Tupac did it. Millions believe Elvis did it. But did Michael Jackson really do it? E-movie book, Suicide. Did Michael Jackson fake his death to save his life? by author Pearl Jr. It's the most shocking true story of our lifetime. Order yours today. Go to MichaelJacksonSuicide.com. That's MichaelJacksonSuicide.com. <laughs>